After a five year hiatus, it's back. The Toyota Venza, brand new for the 2021 year model, is now here. This is our very, very first one, and this is the limited version. This particular one has every single feature except for a panoramic sunroof, which is optional, and also a heads up display. Besides that, this baby is loaded. It slots right in between the RAV4 and the Highlander. As you can see, the styling of it is very elegant. Uh, stylistically, this has softer contours and a more plush, more elegant uh, feel throughout both the exterior and the interior of the vehicle. Like all new Toyotas, it comes equipped with Toyota Safety Sense. This has Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, which includes a radar cruise control, lane departure alert with lane trace assist, blind spot monitors, a uh, pre-collision detection, and also automatic high beams all throughout. Uh, and Toyota does have these features uh, with the exception of the blind spot monitor uh, standard on all of their vehicles. Uh, now on this as well, I'm gonna pop the hood. Uh, by the way, this model also has the parking sensors in the front and in the back. Underneath the hood, you will find a hybrid 2.5 liter engine. All Venzas are this model engine, this drivetrain, which is a 2. Point, again, 2.5 liter all-wheel drive, uh, is tuned to get 40 miles per gallon average, which is quite impressive, and a little bit over 215 horsepower at the same time. The ride on this vehicle, again, is a little bit softer than the RAV4. Again, it's not as big of a wheelbase as the Highlander, so it's not quite as big as the uh, as the Highlander, not quite as soft of a ride, but it also less expensive than the Highlander. Uh, now, if we close this right here, by the way, I should be mentioning that the hybrid uh, battery component has a 10-year 150,000 mile warranty on it. That's back. Uh, as well as every component in here. Uh, when you come to get it serviced for your first two years with Toyota, you have two years completely paid. That's part of what we call Toyota Care. You just come in, get your engine service, and uh, oil changes and all that for two years, 25,000 miles, doesn't cost you a dime. Zero out of pocket. Now, if we look at the inside here, it is a lot more plush interior than the RAV4 and actually bears a lot of stylistic resemblance on the inside as well to both the Highlander and the Lexus RX 350 uh, which makes sense because it does share a same platform with both vehicles. In the back we have a power lift gate, uh, a slightly higher tailgate than the RAV4 uh, with a full-size spare in the trunk, additional soundproofing this one has the tonneau cover, and again, loaded out, this has the JBL sound system as well. Press the button, and it closes. Dual chrome tip exhaust, looks really sharp, and these wheels uh, are very, very, very nice looking. Uh, in the back, you have a room for three passengers, depending on how big they are. And I sit back here with this seat scooted back pretty far, very comfortably. And I have AC in the rear as well. The back seats do fold down for additional storage space. Now, if I close this door, um, go ahead and sit in the back here. I'm going to show the front uh, cockpit. This does have, again, almost every single feature in here. Close the door. We're going to turn it on. Again, this is a hybrid, so when I turn it on, it's going to be sounding a little bit different. If you've never heard a hybrid before, Hey, this vehicle is actually on right now. I know you didn't feel it crank, but now you can see we're actually moving. Um, I'm gonna put it back here into park. Showing this off right here. This has a 360 degree, uh, what's called bird's eye view camera. There are cameras underneath both mirrors in the front and in the back showing a composite image uh, uh, above the vehicle, which is really something, it's very, very safe. And another really nice feature about this is even while you're driving, if you're pulling forward, a lot of people have a worry, especially with crossovers of, of hitting a, a ledge or something. You can press a camera button and have your camera up front on the screen. So no more running up on curbs, scraping up your beautiful new Venza. Put it in reverse, we'll park here again. Uh, memory seats, like I said, in the side. This vehicle does have heated 
and cooled seats, three levels of each. It has your safety controls up here in the dash cluster. It'll show you what safety features you have on. Toyota safety features, you can have them all on, you can take them off, which I don't recommend, but do what you will. It will remember your safety settings for the next time that you get in. 95% uh, of people love every single feature. This is the beautiful 12 inch screen on here, optional, uh, which is uh, stunning to say the least. Does have um, more upgrade features on here, again, being the limited. Has dynamic navigation, which actually shows you this flow of traffic. If you can see on this screen here, I have green and yellow lines. Hey, green means the traffic is good. This is live traffic. Yellow means it's starting to slow down a little bit, but hey, we have all this construction going around here perpetually. So that's gonna be, uh, you know, hey, at least it's honest. Now, we also have volume controls here, media controls down around here. It's very, very sleek, uh, very nice flow throughout. Uh, space is nice. Uh, for my legs. This does have a Qi wireless charger in here. So if you have wireless charging on your fancy phone, you can put that in here, as well as a USB port, which does give you both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, both interact with this and uh, are both wonderfully seamless transition uh, when instead of having to learn a whole lot of new stuff, if you know how your phone works, you can operate Apple Auto or Apple <laughs> uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto very very easily, um, and the uh, the drive on this again nice and soft. It's a little bit quieter than the Rav, and it is uh, again a really really beautiful car. You can see why Toyota came out with this. Uh, this is the Rav4 has a bit sportier feel uh, to it. And the Highlander is definitely a larger vehicle. This slots in perfectly in between the two of them and is really, again, refined and uh, a very, very nice vehicle. An excellent addition to the very, very complete uh, Toyota lineup. And if you'd ever like to come check it out, we got one. Hopefully we'll be getting some more in here. This year's been a little bit crazy. I'm sure you know that. All right, my name is Matthias. I'm a John Harvey Toyota, and I would love to help you figure out if, hey, the Venza is the perfect vehicle for you, come on and see us. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video.